Today's famous scientist is Johann Kepler. Known best for figuring out how planets revolve around the sun, Kepler was a study in contradictions. One foot in medieval times and one foot in the modern era. Kepler was born in Germany in 1571 and devoted himself to astronomy as a boy. At the time, just about everybody followed Ptolemy, whose outlook about the universe was kind of like a typical teenager's. Everything totally revolves around me. But Kepler agreed with Copernicus, who said that the center of the galaxy was the sun, not the Earth. Whatever. He published the first ever Defense of Copernicus, and later in life took it even further with his three laws of planetary motion. The first law broke from the Copernican model, which stated that the planets revolve in perfect circles. Kepler figured out that the orbits were actually ovals, and that the sun isn't in the exact middle. He did it all without the aid of high-powered telescopes and space exploration. And to make it even more impressive, Think about what else was going on in the world at the same time. Shakespeare was writing his plays. To be or not to be. The King James Bible came out and people called the Pilgrims landed at a place called Plymouth Rock. In his 40s, he turned into a lawyer to defend his mother against charges of witchcraft. I'll get you, my pretty. Like a medieval Perry Mason, he got his clients off the hook, or in this case, the burning stake. As modern as his research was for astronomy, he was also a major force in the ancient art of astrology, forever enabling pickup artists everywhere. Hey baby, what's your sign? That's right, in the highly scientific field of horoscopes, Kepler was famous for predicting the future, but even with all his astrological skill, it seems impossible that Johann Kepler could ever have foreseen the impact he would have on centuries to come.